once you and your actual lifetime soulmate are together people around you are gonna freaking sense it they will start getting visions of you getting married to that person the people who once thought you were going to be alone for the rest of your life are going to be the same people who would literally create fake accounts and try to spread false rumors about you to your soulmate, thinking it's going to ruin the relationship between you two, the divine protection the universe or God has cloaked the two of you with what they don't know is those rumors are just going to make your soulmate's love for you a lot stronger a lot stronger some of those people are in relationships they think are the one but once you and your soulmate come around it is going to organically illuminate the truth about these relationships they've entered themselves into it's going to make them realize the hard way that It was a karmic they were dealing with all along, that they were settling for less. That the whole time, your standards, your high standards, weren't for nothing at all. I am getting a sense that your soulmate is going to be a firmly confident speaker. However, they... Are going to be the type of person to be wise about the company they keep close to them every time you are around other people people will feel an intense energy of passion goal orientedness emanating from the both of you it's either they feel or get intimidated by it or they will get inspired by it it's gonna drive away the wrong people it will bring out the known or unknown demons within people Listen, if the person you are crushing on right now is not emanating the same power as you energetically, I swear to God, they are not the real deal. Your soulmate's throat chakra specifically is going to be so actively open. Throat chakra, which is related to to self-expression, confidence, and the ability to defend oneself and others who are being oppressed. For me personally, I despise those types of people who are just bystanders when they are literally witnessing someone or they themselves being stepped on oh my freaking gosh once you and your soulmate are with your soul tribes meaning the friend groups or the communities you are in the same at the same wavelengths with Trust me, the vibes are going to be so different. 
feel so different, positively different, that it compels people into bringing out all of the negativity they have bottled up within themselves. If your soul does not feel comfortable and safe around someone, they are not the one. Like, think about it. Your soul is the gateway to the universe. Your soul is the gateway to everything. Once you meet the for lifetime type of person, the pull you are going to feel is not the type of pull that comes from the flesh. It's more of a pull that comes from the soul. It might feel insignificant at first, but it is going to flourish or develop eventually the more you get to know the person. They wouldn't feel like you are above them. They would automatically feel that you guys are equals of each other. They are someone who brings out your receiver side rather than someone who makes you feel like a parent who teaches their goddamn child to grow up. I have a strong feeling that once you and your actual soulmate come into union, not a lot of people are going to like it. It will literally unveil true colors, people's true colors left and right out of nowhere. They are going to be bitter. Those people are going to be bitter about the fact that you too are emanating very, very powerful energies coming from your highest aligned version of selves. And those energies are actually byproducts of the inner work you guys separately went through before you came into union. That is why it is so important to heal certain aspects of ourselves first before we jump into serious commitments. You will naturally feel comfortable with expressing your weird sides to this person. It wouldn't feel as though you are being pushed out of your shell. Those weird parts of you that you felt as if you had to keep hidden around the wrong people are going to be the same aspects of you that will make this person love you so damn much more than you'd even expect. Trust me, if you are heartbroken right now, it's better to be crying over a crush than be crying over a messy divorce later down the road. So, let those standard disrespecters get the fuck off. Do not ever allow a counterfeit suitor make you sweep your standards under a rug. Your actual lifetime soulmate is going to make you feel like those standards were normal the whole time. It's just that you so happen to be around people who didn't even give you the bare minimum of what you deserve.